welcome back to my channel we're here with another video and in this video i'm going to be using my 3xl coffin no c curve tips from bomb nails my new 14 kalinsky brush from bomb nails if you haven't got you one yet go get you one daddy's girl and hottie pink and my bombshell y'all also i was going to use uh and put all this stuff in the set but i didn't wind up using all of this um so yeah and my young nails white which by the way dries really fast and this little glitter I got from Secret Nail Affair. Some of this stuff I didn't use, y'all. But that's okay, baby. Let's get into the set. Y'all, one thing. Let me tell y'all. Let me just tell y'all. One thing about it, baby, is if you have any type of idea or anything on this here YouTube, don't ever say it in your videos, y'all. Don't ever say it. Because people watch. People lurk. People can't come up with their own damn ideas. And people will steal your, your idea. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, just be mindful of that. Um, I usually never mention my sets that I'm going to be posting um, because of this reason here. Um, because then, you know, people will take your idea, try to get a video out before you do, and then be like, oh, she copied me. You know what I'm saying? But the whole time you done said you had this idea in your video. So, yeah, just be mindful of that, y'all. That's one reason why I never usually pre-tell anybody the sets I'm doing. And it's sad that you have to do that, but you really do on here because, trust me, these freaking jockers, lockers, and blockers be on here, okay? Um, so, yeah, we're doing an acrylic Frenchie on this nail, baby. Um, if you don't know how to do acrylic Frenchies, these aren't too hard to do. Um... It just takes a little bit of practice, y'all. I find these way easier than um, gel Frenchies. Um, so what I do is I lay my first bead um, right where that nail, the fake nail meets your nail. And I bring it down and I form a, you know, a, a French. You want to form your rounded out French and then you want to go to the, and then you want to start the back of the nail, the back of the nail. Um, so you'll, you'll definitely see me start. I don't know what that's called. Is that, that's not the free edge, right? No, the free edge is at the end of the nail. Um, it's just where your nail meets the plastic. So that's where you want to start it. You want to go down, um, bring it down as far as you want your acrylic, acrylic Frenchie. Um, if you want to go really far down, you're going to have to pick up a little bit of a bigger bead, but that is the key to acrylic Frenchies y'all and building up those sidewalls, making sure you're always tucking in while you're dragging out. Um, also making those sidewalls thick enough to where you can file them. Now you don't have to make your acrylic Frenchie perfect. Uh, filing comes into play and you can perfect it with filing. Um, the more you do it, the more it becomes easier and then the more perfect they'll become. They'll get better and better every time. I notice every time I do acrylic Frenchies, they get better and better. Um, so yeah, that just comes with practice and time. I love acrylic Frenchies. I think they look way crisper than the gel Frenchies. Also, they last a lot longer. You don't have to worry about chipping or paint chipping or anything like that. Um, but yeah, y'all, this set was fun. I've been wanting to do a Hello Kitty set for so long, y'all. Um, I did one a while back, but that was when I was a beginner. It came out actually really cute. I used these same foils, um, these Hello Kitty foils. But yeah, so um, here I'm just doing another acrylic Frenchie. Y'all see me rounding it out. As I'm rounding it out, I'm also pushing it down to the desired length. I want my Frenchie and just, you know, rounding it out at the top. I learned acrylic Frenchies literally by watching somebody all the time. And seeing where they placed their first bead and how they, you know, how they were dragging it, what they were doing, tucking in the sidewalls. And then that's how I started out, you know, doing my acrylic Frenchies. They never came really hard to me. Um, you just have to have some control with the powder. You definitely do not want a wet bead for this. This is not an ombre. You want to have a pretty solid bead. That's why I love these Bomb Nails products, y'all, because listen... These are workable in literally any weather. When I have them in the winter, they don't give me issues. And in the summer, they don't give me issues. Usually, you'll have powders drying really quick in the summertime. Um, 
And these just don't. They give you time to mold them. And that's with the winter, too. That's why I say this is witchcraft, because, y'all, usually colors like these dry really quick. But, no, it has been hot in my back room. I think both Freestyle Fridays, the last one was definitely hot. Um, and I was scared to use the acrylic because I know how acrylic dries really fast. Um, but it was 83 degrees back here, y'all. I had my thermometer back here just to see how hot it was because usually on my back porch, it's hotter than outside. Like it could be really cool outside, but because of where the back porch is, it doesn't get any breeze back here. So like you could walk out of my back porch and it'd be really nice and cool outside, but back here it gets really hot. So the other last Freestyle Friday, um, and even when I did these nails, it was about 83 degrees back here, y'all. And this acrylic allowed me to work with it, mold it. It did not dry too fast. And I was like literally blown away. I was like, oh, wow, this is good because I've been worried about the heat. y'all. <laughs> I've been worried about the heat. And every one of these performed amazing in the heat, except that Young Nails, that Young Nails, um, the Young Nails uh, dried very sorry, y'all. Somebody was messaging me. The Young Nails was the only thing that I had issues with drying very fast y'all I actually had to do one of um one of uh I actually oh my god sorry people are messaging me and I'm trying to do my voiceover um so people what was I even saying oh so it looks like it goes down it looks like when I you'll see when I put the white down it looks like when I put the white down it's a wet bead but as I try to drag it out, um, it, it just dries really freaking quick. And that's what I mean by um, it's hot. It was hot back here and that uh, Young Nails did not perform well. Um, by the second finger I did with this, I learned to see how it looks wet, y'all. It's not. It's going to dry up very quickly on me. And this was because it was 83 degrees back here. Like it wasn't. This was no joke. And... It just sets so fast, y'all, but my bomb nails does not set like that. It gives you, it's still, even in that treacherous heat, 83 degrees is hot for acrylic, y'all. And even in that treacherous heat, these performed beautifully, um, the bomb nails, but this, no, this was drying way too fast on me. I had to redo this nail off camera, actually, because it came out way too chunky for me. Um, and by the time I figured out the consistency of it, um, to do smaller, wetter beads. Um, I was already on to the second nail, so I did take this off and redo it off camera, y'all, um, because, yeah, it was just pissing me off. Um, I It didn't look like it was going to... When you lay the bead down, it doesn't feel like it's going to dry that fast until you start dragging it. Now, I know whites have a tendency to dry fast, and like I said, it was hot as heck back here. But still, y'all, that's why I really love my bomb nails because, like I said, it allows me winter, summer, it allows me to work with it in any condition and be fine. I was so surprised at these acrylics in 80 to 3 degree weather, y'all. I'm not even joking. I was so surprised that they were performing as well as they did just because my experience with acrylic like if I would have used any other acrylic like my Valentino my elegance any one of them they would have been drying up like this freaking young nails um white they would have been drying the heck up and it would have been just that you would have had to work with smaller wetter beads and my bo my bombshell none of my bomb nails gave me any issues except this freaking, uh, this is the only white I have, y'all. The white I have from, uh, Bomb Nails is, uh, milky white, so it wouldn't have been good for this. I could have used white gel polish. You can also use white gel polish for this because I did put foil on this. I put the Hello Kitty foils on, so you could have very well used just white gel polish for this. However, I wanted to go in a different way and use the, uh, use the foils because I feel like a lot of people use the white, like, they'll do the white polish, and then they'll do their foil. So, I just wanted to, you know, experiment and do it on acrylic. And they came out very, very cute, y'all. Very beautiful. So, I was happy with that. Um, Hottie Pink and Daddy's Girl, I'm freaking obsessed with. Like, Daddy's Girl has to be my number one favorite glitter acrylic um, from Bomb Nails. Just because it's such a beautiful, pinky, glitter um, 
color and it just i don't know it just goes so good with everything y'all i just love it i even have me some extras like all my bomb nails favorite y'all i got back up of because i ain't playing with y'all no more okay so by this finger i realized okay let's work smaller let's work wetter and still y'all it was drying up fairly quick even though <coughs> even though it didn't look like it was when I initially placed the beads down, yes, this Young Nails White was drying fast. Um, I never really worked with Young Nails. Now, I got the beginner kit from Young Nails when I was a beginner just because it came with so much stuff. And nail stuff is expensive. And I think I spent, when I first started doing nails, I think I spent $1,000. I dropped a bunch with... um a certain creator who has their own business and I just couldn't work with her acrylics at all. Um, I thought it was me for the longest time, y'all. Like, that's one thing about it, y'all. If you're a beginner um, and you're having trouble with application, it could very well be the product you were using. I know a lot of time as beginners, we don't know what's good, what's not. We have to, you know, pretty much rely on other people's word to, you know, figure out what's the best acrylic for us and what helps us with application. That was always hard for me. So I wound up spending hundreds of, not hundreds of, not hundreds of thousands. I wound up spending thousands on acrylics that don't suit me, I can't use, or, you know, they just don't work for me. And, um, you know, you don't want to do that. You want to get something that works for you. That's beginner friendly because like I said, I was, I was devastated for the longest time. I didn't think I was getting it down and it wasn't even me y'all. It was the, the stuff I was using. You want to use good stuff. You want an acrylic that is not going to dry. When you're a beginner, you want an acrylic that's not going to dry on you too fast. And even as a more advanced person now with, you know, acrylic application, you know, I'm getting better and better as, you know, days go on. Um, even now I don't like too fast setting. I'm like totally a medium setting person. I like something like, like exactly like bomb nails. It doesn't dry too quick, but it doesn't dry too fast. And it gives you literally time to mold. I can't even tell you. I, if I, when I slowed this video down in real time, I had to speed it up cause it was a little long. And I also took filing completely out. Um, because sometimes these sets are long, y'all, and I don't want y'all to be here watching me freaking file. Y'all see me file 10,000 times, so I just took it out of this video. So let me know how y'all like the it with the filing out of the video. Some people love the filing part. See, I do voiceovers over my filing, so you don't actually get to hear the filing. So people like it for different reasons. People like to watch it, and people like it for ASMR reasons. So, yeah, I don't know. Let me know how you like it without the... Um, the filing but yes y'all these acrylics like even this hottie pink like um this is a neon color very pigmented sometimes these dry a little bit uh quicker too and it was just these were just working so perfect and i was dumbfounded y'all because anytime i've tried to work with acrylic in that type of weather like 83 degrees it should have been drying up like absolutely quick as i don't care what acrylic but it, it didn't. It gave me time to work with it. And I love that. And I, I listen, I freaking stand by Bomb Nails. I don't give a shit what anybody says. Um, bomb Nails for me is the best acrylic out there. I don't care. Tops not polished. Tops them all. I don't care. I said what I said. And it just has changed my application game to the fullest. And I stand by that. And I'm not even like people. A lot of people will get brand ambassadorships. And even though the, even if the product's crappy, they'll lie about it. I don't lie about anything, brand ambassadorship or not. I'll always be truthful to my viewers about products. Um, I did a video the other day, Melody Susie um, video, and I was very honest in that video. I am a brand ambassador for them too, and I will be honest. Um, you know, it's hard to people do it, but it is hard to like trick and fool the the audience because you're right here doing swatches in their face. You know what I'm saying? How the hell are you gonna promote an acrylic? But it's damn marbling, and you're over here like, oh, it's so great! But we see, we see it, sis! We see it! You know what I'm saying? No. We don't do that over here. We're honest. I don't care who you are, what you're doing. I'm always going to be honest with y'all and tell y'all. And every single person who has tried bomb nails, 
um, since they have come to my channel or, you know, uh, whatever, they have loved this product, fell in love with it. It is, I'm telling y'all, this is top tier product right here. So underrated, um, underestimated, and honestly, I'm not even going to lie. I think Gabby Bomb Nails is the next big thing in the uh, nail community, like for real, because she has, she has found a formula that works whenever i'm telling y'all winter i've had this in the winter i've had it in the summer and i thought i was done this summer y'all i thought i was done the only thing i gotta combat is the heat but my these acrylics worked perfectly they, they didn't even they didn't stop they just didn't stop me baby they said let's go baby bomb nails all day let's go in the 83 degree weather and they didn't give a shit they shit all over that 83 degree weather they shit all over it, y'all. So anyway, yeah. So um, I I was thinking. I mentioned this Hello Kitty set in my last video, y'all. That'll definitely be the last time I ever mention an L set in a video because, like I said, cock jockers, blockers are all over the place. People are personal haters, um, and sometimes it even comes from your own freaking people. You know what I'm saying? Uh, people just get weird. I don't know why. I don't know what happens. They just get fucking weird on this goddamn platform. And damn, sorry for my cursing, y'all. Excuse my French. I try to only curse on my Freestyle Fridays. I don't monetize those videos. So I try not on only to curse on those. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to be cursing up on here. Um, and young kids watch my things. But yeah, y'all, do not mention your ideas and videos. Do not, if you're, if you haven't done it yet and you're not ready to put it out, shut your mouth. Um, one thing I can't take about people is they, they, they do too much too soon. Um, and I never do that. And I don't know why I did that. I think I, I did that because my unboxing for Melody Susie was also supposed to be my Hello Kitty set, but the video went too long. So I decided that's why I said it in that video. Like I said, I never do that because I know already how it goes on here. Um, people watch, people, you know, and they'll they'll jump on it. Especially if you're doing a video prior and they know you're not coming out with a video in 40s. They'll jump on it, jack your idea, and then you'll both be coming out with the with a set at the same time. And you know what I'm saying? People are just freaking weird on here. But um but yes, yeah, so I never do that, but that video was supposed to be my set. So in the beginning of it, I had mentioned my Hello Kitty set. Um, and yeah, so that's my fault, my fault. Never again, never again. Um, but yeah, y'all, this set just came out so cute. Um, I enjoyed it. Um, I've been thinking about it for a long time. Um, and I'm, you know, I can just get creative back here. I do freestyles. I don't copy off nobody. I don't take, I don't do the, uh, inspo thing. You know, I know a lot of people do no shade to y'all. You know, I try to do my, you know, just freestyle my own sets. That way nobody could ever, ever sit there and say I took somebody else's thing or, uh, you know, because pe people like to do that, y'all. Trust me, people I'll be out here liking to do that. So I don't ever want to get and people be coming at me so yeah i just try to freestyle my own sets put my little create own creativity and spin on it um but yeah y'all that's a lesson learned we'll never do that again look how beautiful this daddy's girl is y'all i can't get over how beautiful this is i love it um what do i have to talk to y'all about i feel like something's like um something has transpired what do i i think i had something to talk to y'all about Maybe I'll, maybe, maybe I'll come back to it. I'll come back to it. Um, but yeah, y'all. So we're going to go in y'all. So when I got to the foils, y'all, these Hello Kitty foils are very hard. By the way, I'm using my Melody Susie, um, with this, I'm using my Melody Susie monomer. I love that monomer too bad. They don't sell it in above a four ounce. Um, that monomer y'all does not smell. And y'all know, I'm going to tell y'all the truth about a freaking monomer because I've been looking for a monomer that don't stink, and it worked very well with, um, the acrylics, like, I, I liked it, it wasn't too fast setting, now, it did say it was a fast setting formula, um, but it didn't make my bomb nail, nail set any faster, um, my young nails was just setting fast, but I think it's just because it's white and it was hot, um, but other than that, y'all, this freaking Melody Susie monomer, y'all, is like, I, when I opened it, y'all, y'all saw me take that, 
uh, dampen dish and bring it up to my face and smell it in my last video. I will never do that with a monomer. The reason I did that was because it didn't smell at all. And I can smell that it didn't smell like I was sitting there with it. I'm like, because that's the first thing I do when I use a new monomer is I want I do the smell test. You know what I'm saying? If I can smell it from where I'm sitting and it's strong and potent, then I'm going to tell you. Um, yo, I could not smell this. And then when I brought it up to my face, I couldn't smell the monomer either. Now, either I'm just completely used to monomer or no, that didn't have a stench to it at all. It smelled very sweet, very kind of like a little bit of perfume, but not overwhelming perfumey. Like if you get the not polish drops or ever use them, you know what I'm talking about. The not polish drops are very overwhelming, um, they got this very fruity, like perfumey smell to them. And they're almost like very like, bleh. you know what I'm saying? Some people really like that smell. I didn't really care for them. I'm not going to lie. Um, and they didn't do much to my monomer. They, they really just, um, what did they do? They made it not smell. They, the potency of the drops overpowered the monomer smell for like 10 minutes. And then it, your monomer smell would come back. Usually, I don't work with monomer every day. I do a set mostly on the weekends. I do my freestyle Friday and then I do my uh, my video on the weekends. And sometimes I'll do two videos during the week. Sometimes I'll just do one depending on how much time I have because I am back to work full time. Um, so, yeah, that's where we're at right now. But usually when I start working with monomer, I'll smell it. When I first start working with it because I don't work with it every day, I'll smell it. And then while I'm doing my set, the smell will less and less. I won't smell it as much. But y'all, when I opened this monomer and poured it in the dish and used it, first of all, wasn't that really deep purple like most monomers are? I don't know if y'all can see it in my last video or in this video. It's kind of clearish. Um, but yes, it doesn't stink, y'all. Um, so I went to look to see if they had any bigger bottles. And right now, I guess Melody Susie is just in their testing stage of acrylics and monomer. Um, probably just to see how they do. They probably don't want to put anything big out yet um, until they see how they do with it. Um, but y'all, so anyway, I was, before I got cut myself off, sometimes I do that, y'all. I'll be talking about something and then I'll think of something else. And yeah, so uh, these are very hard to tell which way is the actual foil. So I put them on the wrong way at first, y'all. And I was like, are you kidding me? Um, I really rub-a-dub-dub these the first time. So I was like, what the heel? Uh, but yeah, y'all, be careful with these. Uh, they're clear with pink. So like I said, it's very, very hard to tell which side is the actual curing side. So I put these both on the wrong way, and yeah, I found that out right here. Boom. Nothing. Oh, that one came out good. Oh, I turned them over, I guess, yeah. Which one? Which one is it? Oh, yeah, so I must have turned them over. But yeah, y'all, that is, uh, yeah, that's funny as hell. Um, but yeah, so here we are. Here we are, y'all. Uh, y'all, I was so tired today, y'all. Tomorrow my daughter turns 16 years old. I am 33 years old, y'all. Um, I had my daughter when I was 16. Well, I was pregnant with her when I was 16. I had her when I was 17, when I just turned 17. Lighten up the split, y'all. Lighten up the split. And my baby is about to turn 16 tomorrow. And I just don't even understand, like, what the frick, where time has gone. Y'all, cherish the time with your babies that you have. If you have babies or younger children cherish that y'all because it goes by in the blink of a freaking eye like I'll I remember the day like it was yesterday I had her I was so scared I was 17 years old I was petrified I didn't know what it was like to have a baby I had friends with kids and I babysat kids all my life for money but it's a lot different y'all when it's your kid versus somebody else's kid see when somebody else's kid gets on your nerves you give the kid back when your kid gets on your nerves, there's no going back. You know what I'm saying? They're there. That's what you're there to stay. Um, I was very young, very, very immature. Um, not immature in a sense like I always hung out with older people and I was very mature in a sense like street wise, but baby wise or raising a child, I was immature. I had no idea what I was doing. Um, I have the best mom in the world. Like my mom is a ride or die mom. 
Um, she's not the type of mom to push ch her children away. Even till this day, like if anything happened to me, my mom would always be there for me. If I was on trial for murder, my mom would be my biggest fan in the front row. Like she didn't do it. You know, my mom has always been that type of mother. My mom's not. I grew up with girls whose moms kicked them out when they were came. You know what I'm saying? My mom was not like that. Um, uh, my mom helped me raise my daughter. If it wasn't for my mother, I do not, y'all, I, oh, so right here, I kind of messed up, y'all, this is why Gabby uses the matte when she does foils or any kind of gel polish, um, on her nails, because, uh, the shiny top coat can be slippery, and your acrylic will kind of slip on it, so you need to go in with a little bit of a drier bead, um, so that's why she uses the matte, however, when I use the matte, it kind of doles out my colors on my foils, so I don't like that. So with the Hello Kitty, I decided to go in with the shiny top coat um, just to make sure my pinks were shiny and I like it like that. Um, but it does make it harder to lay acrylic. That's why you see people use matte over gel polishes if they paint the nail or, you know, whatever. But it does kind of dull the color out, so I don't like that. Anyway, back to what I was saying. Um, My mother... Sorry, y'all. The spliff keeps going out. I'm not smoking crack, I promise. So, uh... <laughs> So, um, my mom helped me so much, y'all, like, um, I don't know what I would do without my mom. My mom, like, came to the freaking rescue. My mother had four kids, and she raised us all by herself. She worked very hard. Um, we didn't have much, but my mom did everything she could, um, and worked very hard. My mom wasn't the type of mom. She didn't have men in and out of our house. Um, she respected her children. Uh, she never brought anybody around us. Um, you know, I also had my mom's, um, brother, my uncle in my life. So, um, even when my father left us, uh, when I was very young, I always had a father figure. My uncle did everything with us. So, you know, I cherish him for that. But yeah, if it wasn't for those two people, my daughter, I don't even know what I would have done, y'all. I was so young and dumb and I could not raise a baby. So my mom went and I went to college after I got my GED and stuff. I went to college and my mom told me, you know, um, let me help you. I'll keep your, I'll keep her until you finish college. And, you know, my mom was the type of mom who rather me get a degree and be everything I could be than be a single mom working a dead end job. And that has paid off for me all. I have a beautiful career. Um, if it wasn't for her and I was alone in that, um, I don't know where I would be today. I don't know what I would have done, even though I did have trouble with addiction, um, for a, a moment in time there, my addiction never stopped the way I functioned as a mother, the way I paid my bills um, until the very end of my addiction. And that's when I got my stuff together. So, you know, I'm grateful for that. But yeah, my mom helped me so much, y'all. Um, my daughter's with me now. She came back with me probably like five, six years ago. Um, so I've had my daughter for that amount of time. But my mom did have my daughter for a significant amount of time. Um, and helped me raise her while I went to school. Now, I saw my daughter all the time, um, you know, when I wasn't in school and working. But, you know, that could fracture uh, a relationship, especially because I had my son while my daughter was still living with my mom. Um, so, yeah, that could be hard for a kid. Uh, that was hard for a kid. You know, I'm her mother and I was young and I and I had to get things in my life figured out. And I did. And my daughter's here with me and she loves me. But you know, I couldn't imagine at that age not having my mom. You know what I'm saying? Like, I loved my mom. My mom was everything to me. And I lived with my daughter until she was three years old. And then I moved out and went to college. And then I finished college and I got her. She came back to live with me when she was like seven or eight. But in that time, I always saw her. I was always in her life. My mom, you know, I gave my mom money and stuff. So it wasn't like that. But yeah, it's just a time period in my life. I wish I could go back. I wish I could have had my kids, not my son. I had him at a good age, but my daughter, I wish I could have had her the same kid just when I was older and more mature because there's time that I missed with my daughter every single day, milestones that I missed that I will never get back. So yeah, that's, you know, it is, it is what it is. Um, like I said, I, I really don't think about that anymore because the fact we're so close and it didn't fracture anything. But yeah, it is something that I always think about. It's something that, you know, if you have ours in life, those regrets, yeah, I would have done things a lot differently. I wouldn't have got pregnant at 16. 
uh, and not finish high school. And, you know, but was a little bastard child. But anyway, so, so yeah, that, that's story of my life. I'll be hearing that on uh, YouTube radio next week. Um, <laughs> but I'm not ashamed uh, of anything in my life. Uh, I tell my stories to help other people because let me tell you all something about, about this world here. You're not the only one. Okay, that's one thing about it is if you think you're the only one, you're not. <laughs> you're not. You're not the only one. Um, so it's good for people sometimes to hear other people tell their stories. Um, I had a lot of childhood trauma. I've had a lot of adult trauma. Um, and I think I'm doing a pretty kick-ass job at life considering all my trauma. Um, in and out of juvenile detention centers and group homes and you know, the odds were very well stacked against me, pregnant at 16, running the streets. You know what I'm saying? The, the odds were there stacked against me, addiction, and I overcame that. So um, people could say whatever they want, but I'm very proud of myself and I don't give a shit. But like I said, yeah, if you think you're alone, you're not. There's everybody out there has a story. A lot of people, y'all, you would be surprised how many humans, um, even the ones that go on platforms and bash other people for it, um, have been hurt. Humans love to hurt humans. And I've met so many people in life, even here on this YouTube, who've suffered from childhood trauma, adult trauma. So there's a lot of it out there. Nine times out of 10, most of the people you turn around and look at or walk by you on the street have been through some type of trauma. Yeah, no, it's real life. Uh, there's just a lot of it out there. Families, family members abuse family members. Um, you know, brothers abuse sisters, uncles abuse children. People, it happens more than people think it does. Like that type of stuff happens more than you would even like to think it does, okay? Um, so yeah, so that's why I tell my story because when you tell a story and you are confident in the stories you are telling and you are proud of yourself and you are not ashamed, it helps other people not be ashamed. Um, you always see in cases like rape cases and cases around the world where, where something happened to, uh, children, one child spoke out and guess what, guess what happens? 30 other kids start speaking out. You know what I'm saying? Because you have to get to a place with trauma and hurt and pain and ash being ashamed. You have to get to a place of where you understand that even though that happened to you, it's not your fault. And um, it's not your fault and you shouldn't be ashamed of it. Okay? Because a lot of people who've dealt with abuse in their life, they think they did something wrong. Um, they're ashamed of it. So yeah, so that's why I tell my stories and I'll never stop telling my stories. I'm gonna be on here with these crackhead chronicles all of my YouTube career, y'all. Okay. <laughs> oh God, because I've had a lot of stuff go down in my life, y'all. I've seen a lot of shit. <laughs> I've seen and been through. And uh, people always think like, um, you know, people always think a certain type of people have it good or better than others and they don't suffer or they don't go through things or oppression or, and that's just not true. Um, I think every race, every creed, every culture, um, there's trauma, there's, there's poverty, there's all kinds of things. So to look at somebody and say they have it better because of their skin or because, of whatever that's not true at all uh people suffer at the hands of other people no matter who you are and it'll happen throughout time and it'll continue to happen throughout time and it's just sad um yeah that's all I have to say about that um <laughs> I just went on a rambling session y'all oh my god these came out so cute we're cap a lap and lop a looping now um, look at that bombshell, y'all. That bombshell is just bomb, bro. It's bomb, yo. Bomb nails was a good name for bomb nails, y'all. Like, that had a meaning to it. I feel like she knew her shit was gonna be good. <laughs> this shit is so good. I can never, I'll never get over it, y'all. I'll never get over it. And y'all are gonna have to hear about it every stinking 
video. Ooh, this weed is so good, y'all. I wish y'all could hit this. Rachel, Rachel, hit it. Rachel's my smoking buddy. My life smoking buddy. She's always rolling up when I'm rolling up. Who else rolls up when I roll up? There's a couple other people. I just don't know. I know Rachel for sure. <laughs> I love Rachel. Rachel, I love you. You're done. You're done. Okay? All right. At this point, I'm just saying anything. So, y'all, I'm going to let y'all watch the rest of this application. Uh, I love y'all. After this, there will be no filing. Um, tell me how y'all feel about that. Um, if y'all don't care that there's no filing, I will keep filing right out of my videos. <laughs> but I know some people do like it. So let me know. Let me know. You know what I'm saying? Um, I love y'all. Have a great day. Great night. Wherever y'all at. And I'll see y'all on Freestyle Friday. On the flip side, baby. Have a good night, y'all. Oh,